G'day guys, welcome back. I'm trying something new today. I'm going to do a swipe with fluoros. I haven't used these paints before. Just got them from eBay, floral, fluoro uh, washable paint. So we have yellow, pink, orange, green, blue and purple. And then I have my black, which is global and I'm got that's the swipe color so in the mix today something else I haven't tried before with the swipe well not for a long time is a mix of PVA and Floetrol and I've written it on the back so I'll remember what I've done so the PVA wood glue I get from Bunnings the Floetrol get from Bunnings and I've mixed that one part PVA to two parts flow troll and I've mixed up a big batch of it and put it into my three litre milk container so two flow troll one PVA right now for cells I'm going to use the coconut milk hair oil and I've just put it into my little squeezy bottle so it's easy to get out I'll flip that around a little cardboard sheets very handy. I'm just going to put three drops in each of the colours except the black. This mix is a little bit thicker than what I would normally use for a swipe so I'm not sure how it's going to go. I made up the yellow first, so I've got more yellow, and I thought, no, I'm not going to need all that. Just give it a little bit of a, a stir. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Not too much. You don't want to break up the silicone too much. You want it to stay in little blobs. Um, if you have lots of tiny little bits of silicone in your colours you'll end up with tiny cells so the more you stir your silicone in the smaller your cells will be so I'm going to leave a, a strip along the back along the top there for the black and then I'm just going to zigzag these colours up and down I don't mind if they overlap a little bit Probably won't use all this paint but if this works and it's nice then I'll do a big one a big canvas so I'll probably have a little bit of paint left over for the big one Now these colours, because there's PVA in the mix, they probably will look a little bit more dull because the PVA is white and it sort of dulls them a bit. But when they dry, the PVA dries clear and they won't be dull. They're nice and bright. Last one, our yellow. Colours are all going to mix into each other here, so I'm not sure what we're going to get. A little experiment. I'm just going to tip this. Hang on to the edges. Tip it up. Make sure we go over the edges. Cover everything. And down. Don't want to leave too much paint on there, so you want to pour a bit of it off. If you, lose, if you leave too much paint on when you're doing a swipe, um, you'll find that your, your cells will get really elongated and loose looking because the paint's able to spread around because it's, it is a bit thin. Uh, because there's too much paint on there, so the, the cells kind of spread out. Okay, black along the top.
with the black, the swap colour needs to be a little bit thinner than your other colours. So with all the colours, as I said, I've made up three parts pouring medium to one part paint. And I did that as well with the flow troll, three parts of my made up pouring medium with one part of global paint. And then I just added an extra splash of flow troll because I want the black to be thinner than the other colours. Okay. Now for my swipe, I use my little plastic sheet that I buy from um, newsagents or office supplies. It's a document holder, A3 document holder. Um, it did have a, a front and a back and I just cut it open and then I've got two pieces. And it's a nice weight. I know a lot of people use paper towel, I, I like this. Just going to pop that on. A little bit from the top because I don't want to drag all the black off. Let it sit. I'm not going to pull any weight on it, I'm just going to pull down towards me. And then these can easily be wiped off. The colour can be wiped off. Give it a wash and it's ready to use again. Got a lot of wormy things happening here. I don't really like those worms for round cells. swipe again and see if I can get rid of some of those. I'll put it on again using the clean side. You don't want to contaminate your black. Always have your clean size. And go again. Clean that off. Neighbor's going to start his mower up, which could be noisy. So there we go, doors shut. All right, so that's looking better. Haven't got so many of the long worms. We've got our individual little cells. Now I'm going to torch that and uh, see if we can get some more cells up. So there's no reason you only have to swipe once. You can swipe twice. You can go this way and you can go back that way if you want to. No right or wrong with swiping, whatever you want to do. Um, if you've missed your edges, you can just go along those with um, a little bit of cardboard. Um, I use the paint sample cards from the hardware store. They're really good. I don't have one with me at the moment. It's in the other room. So I'm just going to use my mixing stick from the black. I'll just pull that down. Alright, torch time. Let's use this blowtorch from, from Bunnings. Don't want to torch too much. I'd rather wait for the cells to come up on their own. If you torch too much, you heat the paint up. And the paint gets hot, it melts gets distorted so you're better off just waiting be patient and just wait for the cells to come up on their own that's really quite pretty I'm happy with that blacks a little bit more prominent over this side so we'll just torch this bit a little bit more the colors hidden underneath the black the silicone comes up to the surface through the black brings the colours with it and that's what makes your cells. So your colours hiding underneath your dense colour and you need to get it to the surface. The heat gun helps that to, to happen. So, not bad for an experiment I guess. You can see how the cells, some of the cells aren't round I guess they've got this 
watery look to the edges. That's telling me that the paint is too thick. And I did know that my mix was quite thick. Thicker than I would normally use it. You can see how it sort of sits on the top for a few seconds and then it goes underneath. It sits on top of the stick. It still pours off the stick. It's really hard to tell because it pours at lots of different stages. Melted chocolate. Okay, I think I'll leave it like that. Uh, I'll try another one and I will make, might add a little bit of water. Just because these colours, these I haven't used these before and they, they are a little bit thicker than my normal paints. So, hope you enjoyed that video and um, I'll come back with a bigger fluoro pour and I'll make the mix a little bit thinner and see how we go with that. It's quite pretty. We've got some cells, inside cells, pink inside blue there, yellow, pink, blue, all different colours inside each other. And that's because the colours were mixed together when I poured them up and down. So you get that look of different colours. If you didn't want that, if you just wanted plain pink, plain orange, plain blue, try not to mix them and you'll get a different effect. I like the multicoloured rainbow effect. So anyway, when that dries, it'll be nice and bright. It looks a little bit more dull now because of the PVA, but it will dry nice and bright. All right, see you later.